Moving further afield, the International Monetary Fund's recently published World, World rather, Economic Outlook served as a stark reminder of the significant challenges South Africa's economy is currently facing. The report projected a meagre growth rate of 0.9% for this year, which is expected to rise only slightly to 1.2% by 2025. These forecasts reflect the numerous obstacles hindering the country's economic progress, including logistical difficulties, impeding global market access, persistent electricity shortages and broader infrastructure deficiencies. Additionally, the IMF expressed concern about potential electoral uncertainty that could impact reform efforts. Independent economist Stephen Mansu shares his perspective on this matter. It is true that the economy of South Africa might be, not be performing as uh, we are anticipating or have, have been anticipated by the beginning of the years uh, because of a number of things. Of course, the output uh, to the global market challenge continue because of logistical uh, challenges which are uh, facing the country. You'll realize that the South African economy now, except focusing on, two, on its two major primary sectors, of agriculture and mining they have to be output which goes out such as manufactured uh, output and that of course help in creating jobs and when jobs are being created we will see that uh, there will be some uh, better economic performance more particularly when we're looking in demand when we're looking into the supply factor of uh, factories but the other thing which has kept us a little bit behind is electricity uh, but we will have seen that uh, from the previous two months there have been a uh, betterment and we've seen uh, the country becoming or having a restored electricity for a number of months now, which has, of course, boosted business confidence and other confidence.